Hey guys, it's Ethan from Zimmer Labs. I'm here to do a quick video today of some Mara Jade Sabers that Jonathan sent me to repair. Uh, these were done by Starship Sabers probably a year or two ago. Um, evidently they had issues right away and the uh, Smith is either out of business or uh, he can't be found at the moment. So. Jonathan wanted me to get them up and running. Um, I'll run you through just, you know, what I did, but mostly it was just to make sure that they are running correctly. Um, these guys are cool because they are totally custom made. 100% uh, homemade design. Some Graflex implements in there with the clamp here. We've got a red button here. Some nice brass piping going on. Uh, some elements that are just decorative, like these brass exhaust gates, brass ventilation up here. This is a really cool uh, like a heat sink, I guess. Um, when Jonathan got these, the brass elements were literally just flat pieces of brass that were glued to the outside, and he didn't like that. He 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 thought it looked uh, cheap. And uh, I actually didn't mind it, but I agree they did look a little cheap, so he wanted me to upgrade it a bit. Uh, I tried a lot of different things, and nothing looked good until the the final answer was to, to basically 3 d the elements, rather than just have flat sheets of brass stuck to the outside. I boxed them out, or uh, otherwise gave them relief and depth so now they look like they're more actual implements of the lightsaber, different, uh, you know, different functionality, whatever, but they, you know, they, they have some depth and dimensionality to them now. Uh, these guys have, let's see, NEC Spark Color 2 boards in them, not the newest version. Uh, that's a kill key. I am no Jedi. Before anyone freaks out, I know that's not... These are Mara Jade Sabers. I know that's not a Mara Jade quote. It's Ahsoka. I know that. But uh, I didn't do the setup as far as the sound fonts, the boot sounds, and I left them just the way they were. And I think the quote kind of works anyhow, even though anyone who's a hardcore fan is going to know that's a different character. Uh, recharge port here. Activation switch, auxiliary switch. Uh, the activation switch has an RGB LED in it. So do the exhaust ports here. Two RGB LEDs. Crystal chamber is a rotating RGB crystal chamber. And then we have a blade plug up top. I actually made the blade plugs. The ones that came with it were just kind of, kind of weak. Um, standard, really simple razor blade blade plug just spin this little red knob to lock it down and uh, let's fire it up now these have the twist to change color functionality let's go with red are silly loud, that's for sure. They're very loud, very sensitive. Very bright. The other cool part is they can be a staff. This is the coupler. It's actually uh, illuminated from the inside. Uh, it's just a simple switch here to turn it on and off, so you'd only turn it on when you had it attached, but this part right here unscrews, this screws on, you attach a second one, and you are good to go. Uh, nothing crazy or high-tech about it, but pretty cool nonetheless. Um, what else to show you guys? Mostly this is just for Jonathan's uh, review, so I can send these back to him now that they're finished. Uh, Jonathan, these are the changes you wanted me to make. Uh, adjusting the brass implements here, as well as up top. 
twin matching blade plugs. Um, let's also quickly run through how to open these guys. So that's important. Um, start with obviously unscrewing the pommel here. And they're way, way longer than they need to be. Then you don't want to unscrew this part yet. You want to shake it down so this slides out, then unscrew while at the same time twisting this so that the wires inside don't get twisted up and broken. Simple as that. You do that about 59 times because again the threads are really long and then this section slides off you can access the SD card then you would screw it back in again holding this so that it's not twisting the wires up and then just insert it if it's not going in easily or, you, or it's fighting with you at all twist back and forth a little bit until you catch the right orientation and you catch your glove evidently screw the pommel back on Uh, the other thing Jonathan wanted me to do was to adjust the kill keys because the ones that were in there uh, they didn't they didn't want to stay in place um, that was because they're these and these things are gigantic they have a ton of weight to them so just their weight alone makes it really hard for them to want to stay in so these are just garbage blade plugs for shipping purposes, not blade plugs, kill keys, I mean. Um, these are the actual decorative ones, so I redid them. I took out the twist activation feature, and these guys are much, much, much more sturdy. They're not going anywhere. They're not loose while they're in there. It's a decorative element. Um, personally, to be honest, I don't think it's necessary, so Jonathan, if these things bother you, then just 86 them, you know what I mean? Like, this thing has got enough going on already that it doesn't need a big honking blade plug. Uh, moreover, you have these other CoverTech knob style blade plugs. God, why do I keep saying that? Kilkey, sorry guys, Kilkey. These CoverTech style Kilkeys here that may be... Yeah, those are a bit more sturdy also. They're not going anywhere. Um, and to make them match, obviously, just do a, a little bit of uh, dry paint on there. Um, scruff it up with some sandpaper real quick, just lightly. Apply some glossy black. Uh, let it dry a tiny bit. And then wipe at it with uh, a rag or a paper towel until you take away most of what's there, leaving just a bit, you know, so it looks kind of like that. You get some in the cracks, you leave some on the top, but you can do it to your taste. You just kind of apply it and then wipe it off until it looks, until it matches the hilt, and then let it dry, and that's it. Simple as that. So, uh, 